It's not madness, it's not dottiness, it's a disease. And when it attacks the brain, it distorts the way the brain works. Dementia is one of the biggest medical challenges that we face globally. No one's ever survived dementia. There are no treatments that tackle the disease itself. We don't know where dementia comes from, we don't know why it happens, and we don't know how to treat it. One of the first signs of dementia is that people start losing their ability to find their way around. My name's Philip Grant. My wife, Liza, has frontotemporal dementia. The first things we noticed were when Liza was in her very late 40s, early 50s. She'd always been a great walker and knew the lanes around here, like the back of her hand. Um, but now she would walk and walk and walk and then not know where she was or how she would get home. We need to understand more about the condition. We need to understand how we can treat this disease. We know that research holds the key, and for the research to be able to take place, we need data which doesn't exist. So scientists' lack of data is slowing down research. We thought that maybe we could look at this problem from a different angle. Dementia steals your memories, meaning that they can no longer be shared with the ones you love. Because we at Deutsche Telekom believe in the power of sharing, our role is to assure that sharing still will be possible by helping to protect these moments. What makes this project really unique is the combination of cutting-edge science combined with a games design company to reach out to hundreds of thousands of people in an experiment that we couldn't do in a lab. The game is split up into five different themed areas. You're a sea explorer and you're recovering memories for your father. You're going on the journey that he went on and you're doing it in his boat. And as you move around, your position gets relayed back to the scientists and they can see it like a heat map. And that data is used to try and understand on a mass scale how people are navigating around these different mazes. But actually all that data, every little movement they make, every choice they make in that game, it's going to help our research. And the more we can find out about how people find their way around, the better we can understand the problems people might get in dementia. It's a total reinvention of the way this kind of research data is collected, stored and accessed. It's not just engaging, it's also scientifically valid and, above all, secure. Those hours that people are ploughing into casual games have no impact except to pass time. This is like an opportunity for them to actually have some value associated with that time that they're spending. If we can get hundreds of thousands of people to share their time and participate, we can answer questions we could never have dreamed of answering before. While well, just navigating through these icy channels, it's, um, it's tremendous fun. An occasional penguin. Well, it's really great to think about this kind of data helping scientists. By playing this game, they're helping being part of the solution. They're helping us be that little bit nearer to finding those treatments and understanding how we can better diagnose dementia.